Hello, and welcome to a VO's journey. Today, I'm going to be talking about how much do voiceover artists make. Let's do it. All right, so the topic on hand today is how much do voiceover artists make? And I know this is uh, widely... Uh, it's it's a big question. A lot of people want to know. Voiceover artists have uh, kind of entered into this realm now of super interesting, exciting, you know, uh, uh, industry on the rise. People, you know, kind of semi, you know, basement famous, if you want to call it that. But just an interesting part of the acting genre. So um, first, I'd like to say that you know, acting in general, because uh, in general, this falls under acting, and because of that, you have to think, you know, um, I'm going to give you some numbers. Ninety percent of actors, all right, uh, are the ones that you see working two to three jobs, okay, to make it work. I mean, that's the reality of it, right? Ten percent of actors uh, uh, are the people who make a living, like a middle class income, and then like the point zero zero one percent are the people that you see on TV right? The people that are the millionaires and the famous and so on and so forth. All right. Those are those people. So the majority of everybody else is not making a living doing this and not rich. However, the cool thing about voiceover is that because of the way technology is and the way everything is opened up, the whole world is at our feet. Whereas an actor, you know, you are still bound by the physicality of what you do. And yes, you can get in movies and stuff. But then again, that's where the 0.0.1%, all right, can touch the world. Whereas voiceover artists have the ability to touch the world by sitting here in your studio in your own home. And that's the power of the internet. And I will say that actors have that same power nowadays doing different things than the traditional way. But voiceover artists really have, this is a really special, unique time, I believe, for voiceover artists. So the answer, the, the question is, can you make money or, or what kind of money can you make in voiceover? So, uh, you know, if you look at the ability right now to make money, there is kind of some tiers, right? And you have um, the tier of non um, uh, it was so we have a union and the non-union, okay? And ever since you know uh, SAG and after they kind of got came together, now they're one they're one union, one guild. Uh, some things have changed, but finances wise, I think that you know there is some people who can make a decent living from doing voiceover who do it full time. I am one of them. I make a full time income. I make double what I made as a teacher, so I definitely make a lot more money, more than double, a lot more money than I did as a teacher. But most people I notice, they generally make around, you know, they can make between a thousand to two thousand dollars a month, or some people make a couple hundred dollars a month. Uh, you know, so that is a general, I think, area of where if you're going into voiceover, you know, you can look into getting into it by, you know, expect to be able to make a few hundred dollars a month after you've worked at it. Don't expect to start tomorrow and make a couple hundred dollars a month, but you can definitely start making a couple hundred dollars a month. And then I think you can work up to a thousand to a couple thousand dollars a month to get to that next level where we're talking 10,000 a month and above, you know, you really have to. Uh, I think change and approach it as a a big business because you know if your business is generating hundreds of thousands of dollars of revenue, you know you're talking about a decent size. Now, yes, it's a small business as for corporations go, but for a single run organization, that's a pretty big deal, right? So I think in this sense, the thing is is that anything over ten thousand dollars, you really a month, you really are starting to get to a place where you are running a decent sized business that is going to be having different streams of revenue, right? Whether it's uh, in your audio production, whether it's coaching, whether it's just, uh, you know, audiobooks, commercials, you know, guest speaking, things like that, you're going to start having different sources of income. Now, as we go above that, and we get to maybe like $500,000 a year to a million dollars a year, you know, you're talking about creating more of like an agency, right, where you're leveraging people in time. Because the reality is, is until you get, uh, you know, until you realize that there's only one of you, and there's only so much you can do, you have to think in order to increase your income, you're going to have to leverage. So all that aside, can you make money in voiceover? Absolutely. Is there a better time in history to make money in voiceover? Absolutely not. This is the best time in history because of technology, because of the price of entry is so low. 
Does that make it more difficult? Yes, because you have so many people flooding into the market. But at the same time, with all these people flooding into the market, I think a lot of people might think, well, because I can do voiceover, I don't, you know, I'm just going to start and I'm going to go for it and I'm going to make it happen. And they don't think they need training. They don't think they need to do the work behind learning the craft. I mean, the reality is, is I started voiceover a few years ago, but I have been acting for 20 years. Now, I did a video previously that said, you know, you don't need to be an actor to be a voiceover artist. But if you don't have training over here, you're going to have to get it, right? Because there is a there is a special ability that people have to be able to show emotion through words or through expression where other people don't, you know, and we call it sensitivity. You know, how sensitive can you be while you're speaking in any direction? Because you're asked to do many different things as a voiceover artist. And the more things you can do, the more money you're going to make, right? Um, now, the top tier people, the people that you hear doing all the movie voiceovers and all the, the characters on, you know, big time commercials and stuff and things, what you notice is a lot of them are famous actors, and they pad their bank account by being paid lots of money to endorse these, these businesses and companies with their voice, right? But that's voiceover. But there's still a lot of people that you don't know their names that still do a lot of voices that we're very familiar with, and they make a good living, all right? And they, they are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and may, you know, may get to a million dollars. But those, again, are very few in between as opposed to the rest of the people in the world, you know, who are just trying to make it. So if you want to get into voiceover, like I said, this is the best time. You can make money. You can make a lot of money. But as you're just starting out, remember, you're going to make just a little bit, okay? Uh, and, and as you grow your business and you put more time and you get better at it and you invest in training and you, you know, finally decide after you make your own demo and learn how to do that, you invest in a demo and you do these different things, you will get better and you will start making more money, all right? But if you really want to scale your business and you want to make you know, that $10,000 a month plus, you really need to start looking at your equipment, your schedule, your business plan, uh, your, your overall goals as a business and how you're going to grow that business. Okay? All right. Well, I hope this helps. And uh, if you haven't, take a moment to subscribe, like, and, and share this video. Leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts about where you are in your business. Also, if you'd like, you could join. Um, we have a podcast, and it's called The VO's Journey Podcast. Uh, it's wonderful. There's plenty of episodes there. I think we're almost at 100. So take a listen there. And we also have a Facebook group that you can get involved with. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.